Hello guys! Good morning! This is Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Kung bago ka sa channel ko, please consider subscribing. So today, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang tungkol sa prime and composite numbers. So, ang prime and composite numbers ay dalawang klase ng natural numbers. So, review muna tayo ng konti. Um, ano nga ulit yung natural numbers? Ang natural numbers ay ang numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Tapos yung whole numbers naman ay ang numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. But this time, kasama yung 0. And yung integers naman ay yung numbers from 1 or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But this time, kasama yung negative counterpart nila. So, that's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. Okay? So, again, yung prime and composite number ay dalawang klase ng natural numbers. So, let's start with prime numbers. So, by definition, ang prime numbers are numbers that only has two factors, namely 1 and itself, and is greater than 1. So, ano ulit yung ibig sabihin ng factors? So, factors are number that is multiplied together to get a product. So, that means factor times factor equals product. So, let's um, have an example. So, example... What are the factors of 12? So, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So, paano natin nakuha itong mga factors ng 12? This is how we do it. So, maghahanap kayo ng dalawang number na kapag minultiply nyo, ay 12 yung magiging sagot. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga numbers na 1 times 12, so, 1 times 12 equals 12. 2 times 6 equals 12. And 3 times 4 is equals 12. So, that means, may naisip pa ba kayong mga ibang number na kapag minultiply nyo, 12 ang sagot? So, kung wala na, ibig sabihin, itong mga numbers na to ang factors ng 12. Let's have an, another example. So, factors of 20. Factors of 20 would be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So, same drill. Paano natin nakuha yun? So, 1 times 20 equals 20. 2 times 10 equals 20. And 4 times 5 equals 20. So, Itong mga numbers na to ang magiging factor ng 20. Alright? So, balik tayo sa prime number, guys. So, again, sabi dun sa definition kanina, prime numbers are numbers that only has two factors, namely one and itself, and is greater than one. Okay? So, based dun sa natural numbers natin, Nag-start siya kanina sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so on and so forth. So, sabi dito, may dalawang factor lang daw ang prime number, which is 1 and itself. So, that means maghahanap ka ng number na ang magiging factor lang niya ay 1 at ang sarili niya. For example, 2. So, ang factors ng 2 ay 1. At ang sarili niya, 1 times 2. May naisip pa ba kayong ibang number na kapag minultiply nyo sa 2, ay eh, 2 ang lalabas? Wala na, ba? So, ibig sabihin, itong number 2 ay prime number. Kasi wala na siyang ibang factor kung hindi 1 at ang sarili niya. At merong isang rule pa dito na kalagay is greater than 1. So, yung 1, hindi siya prime number. Okay? 
So, let's state another example. 3. So, 3, ang mga factors ng 3 ay 1 times 3. So, 1 at ang sarili niya. So, wala na kayong may isip na iba pang number na kapag minultiply nyo sa 3 ay 3 ang sagot. So, ibig sabihin, 3 is also a prime number. Another example is number 5. So, it's 1 times 5. So, there again, there are only two factors which is 1 and itself. 1 and 5. So, 5 is a prime number. Ganun din yung 7. Right? So, 1 times 7 equals 7. 7 only has two factors. No other numbers na kapag multiply mo ay 7 yung lalabas other than 1 and itself. So, I know that by this time nakuha nyo na yung concept. Same goes with 11, 1 times 11. And the number 13, 1 times 13. Okay? So, ganun yung madidistinguish sa natural number kung alin yung prime. Okay? So, what you can do is you can write the numbers from 1 to 100 and then i-distinguish nyo doon kung alin yung mga prime numbers and then leave it in the comments, okay? Next, um, let's talk about the composite numbers. So, composite numbers would be yung kabaliktaran ng prime number. So, by definition, Composite numbers are numbers that have more than two factors other than one and itself and is greater than one. So, as you can see, um, meron siyang rule din dito sa composite number na it should be greater than one. So, yung number one is neither prime or composite. Hindi siya prime, hindi rin siya composite. Okay? Um, Again, kabalik rin uh, ang composite number ay kabalik rin ng prime. Have more than two factors other than one in itself. So, let's state an example. For example, the number 6. So, 1 times 6 equals 6. But, so as 2 times 3. Right? So, ang factors ng 6 would be 1, 2, 3, and 6. So, there are more than two factors. So, ang number 6 ay composite number. Another example would be number 10. So, 1 times 10 equals 10. So, as 2 times 5 is also equals to 10. So, ang uh, factors ng 10 would be 1, 2, 5, and 10 which is more than two factors. So, 10 is a composite number. Another example would be number 8. So, number 8, uh, 1 times 8 is equals to 8. And 2 times 4 is also equal to 8. So, there are more than two factors, namely 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, so number 8 is a composite number. So same thing, you can write the numbers from 1 to 100 at ibigay nyo sa akin yung mga composite numbers sa comment section. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope may natutunan kayo. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you can be updated sa mga bago kong videos. Thank you and you guys are awesome. Thank you very much and have a lovely day ahead. God bless you. Goodbye!